What is up, my beautiful babes and games of the world? It's your girl, Keelan, aka it's Keelan, and I am back with another mother freaking video. <laughs> of this video i'm about to get really lit now before i start i would like to say that i do not condone underage drinking i do not condone just reckless drinking anything like that i just posted a poll on my youtube and i was like should i bring back that trend of um of drinking while or not drinking but doing your makeup while tipsy or whatever and it got a hundred percent volts of yes so today that is what we're gonna be doing so um as you can tell by that title we're about to get <laughs> about to get lit so before i start give this video a big old thumbs up comment share subscribe to the channel turn on your bell so i know i know i know that you're a part of the subscribe fam but part of the babe and gabe squad and with that being said let's just jump into this video all right so y'all in this in this cup i got some 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 stuff and again before i start i do not condone drinking under age if you're gonna drink please just make sure it is in the safety of your home do not just go out and be reckless about it. But this is a trend that I've been wanting to do since I first saw it like two years ago. But obviously at the time I was like 19, so I could not do it. So I'm about to drink, drink, and then we're about to wait for it to hit. And then we're gonna get started. Ooh. I do wanna say, I do wanna say that I did not eat anything for this reason it is one o'clock and i didn't eat anything because i wanted to get or i wanted it to hit faster so that i can record this video for you guys um because it is it is like one if you don't eat anything if you drink and you don't eat you hit you can feel it faster so that was the reason why i did not eat anything so that i could feel it faster for this video i am going to eat as soon as this video is over to sober myself up because yeah this is just for video for the video purposes of yeah so as y'all can tell i already did my eyebrows because i just feel like doing your eyebrows on camera it just takes up so much time but everything else i'm going to be doing on camera for y'all or i did my eyebrows off camera sorry but everything else i'm going to be doing on camera for y'all so that y'all can see how or so that i can be a part of this trend even though it's two years dead but it's okay we're bringing it back so yeah, I'm just gonna wait till this hits and then um, I'll see y'all when I do. I guess, I don't know. All right guys, so it's hitting and um, I'm gonna get started. So I decided to, that a neutral look would be the best way to go for this video. Um, so I'm just gonna jump into my new Nubian palette by Juvia and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna, Okay, I'm going to take this color here, this shade here, or should I take, no, I'm going to take this shade, sorry guys, I'm going to take this shade here, and I'm going to just put it all over my eye to create, obviously, the transition color. This feels so weird just holding a brush right about now. Like, I don't know, like my hand is like, I don't know. It just feels weird holding a brush while I'm, while I'm under the influence. It feels very, very weird to me. So now that I have that color all over my eyelid, I'm gonna go in with this brown here and just put that in my crease to create some definition. The more I move, the more you feel it. Like it's, <laughs> it's kind of, it's. 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's like settling in more. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this darker brown hair and I'm gonna put that on my outer corners of my eye. So now I'm just going to go in with, with, not with, with this gold color here. Let me swatch it for y'all. It looks like that. It's like, it looks like that on the skin. And I'm going to put that on the inner, the inner corners of the eye. All right, so now that I have my eyes done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on. And I actually got this as a birthday gift. It's, a, it's the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And I used it like two other times and I honestly, like this is my first time ever using any type of Tarte product. And y'all, it's honestly, it's nice. I'm not gonna lie. I, well, excuse me but it's really nice like I didn't know that it was gonna what am I trying to say I didn't know that it was gonna um make my eyelashes look this long like I'm about to show y'all why does one of my eyes look darker than the other one? Oh my god uh -uh. let me let me add some more to this Does it look the same? I don't know. I don't know right now. Uh, I think I kind of messed up on this eye, so I'm going to add some glitter because glitter always makes everything better. Um, so I'm going to try to attempt to draw some glitter. Draw some glitter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to attempt to add some glitter to my crease. Glitter just makes everything better. Okay, so now, like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and add this Man Eater Cart Mascara to my eyelashes. So, now that I have that, I'm going to prep my lashes, and I'm going to be using the Tarte Lashes by Lily Pons. Um, I wore these lashes one other time, and I think they are just so pretty. Uh, so, I'm going to use these. I got these for Christmas. D'Angela bought them for me. If y'all are not subscribed to D'Angela's channel, go subscribe to her channel. What are you doing? 
But um, yeah, go subscribe to her channel because she just posted another video yesterday, I think. Or the day before yesterday. It was the day before yesterday. Y'all need to get subscribed to her channel. She's doing really good on her vi her videos. So yeah, go subscribe. Be a part of her channel. Be a part of my channel. Be a part of all of our channels because we have a channel together too. We just haven't posted on it because we've been so busy. That's too much glue. We go. We go wait to that. I can't talk. We go wait to that. That dry some before we put that on our eyelashes because that's too much glue. Oh my god, oh my god, it's stuck to my finger. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to my face while my lashes dry. I use my Mario Badescu Skin Care. It's the uh, ro mm. It's the aloe herbs and rose water one, and I love this one. I have not tried the other ones, but this one I love. Um, it just makes your face, just makes your face so. It is. I don't know. It gives it such a good glow and everything. So I'm gonna spray this on the face. That's how I prep my skin. Okay, so I'm gonna spray. Um, I'm gonna spray this on my face, and then I'm gonna go in with my Mil Milani Prep Soothe Camellia. Is that how you pronounce it, Camellia? Camilla, 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 face oil, however you pronounce it. Do you just see that glow? Oh crap. Do you just see that glow? I'm going to blend it in, I mean, bounce it into the skin with my beauty blender. Bounce it into the skin. I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it into the skin. I don't know. Like, I just love using this rose water stuff because it just gives my face that instant glow. Boop. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my oil. And I'm going to use a clean brush and just buff it into the skin. For a primer... I like to use the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. I love this stuff. Like, it just feels so good on the skin. Um, and it's really cheap. Like, I think at Ulta, it's like $14. That's super cheap for a freaking primer. It's either 13 or 14 I can't remember. But it just feels so lovely on the skin, like, ugh. It just feels so smooth. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Is this one mine? 360, I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty foundation and I'm just gonna buff that into my skin as well. So I'm going to take my brush that I use for foundation, which is here, and buff it into my skin. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye with the brush. Okay. This is like so hard to focus right now. I'll try my best though. Trying. Okay, so now, okay, I just popped the top off of that if y'all didn't see it, but um, I'm gonna spray this on. Oh crap! I'm gonna spray this on this and blend it into my skin. I mean, um, blend the foundation in some more. That's what I'm trying to say. So now that I have my face on, I don't know, I'm going to try to put these lashes on. And normally I would do this off camera, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to do it on camera just to see how it turns out. <laughs> but alright. Here we go. 
Oh, I'm not as sorry you fail. Okay, wait. Okay, I have the first lash on. I have the first one on. The second one, it's, st it's still, oh God, it's still too wet. Like, it's not blue yet. It's still a little bit white. So we're gonna wait for that one and I'm gonna continue with my face. Um, where am I gonna see it go? Oh, wow, right in front of my face. Okay, um, so I'm about to conceal my face. don't know why I contour because I already have good cheekbones like high cheekbones so I don't know why I contour but I, see, I dropped it but it's whatever so next I'm gonna go ahead and take the wet and wild photo focus banana set um is it set yeah setting powder and I'm gonna go ahead and do this on my under my contour While this is setting, I'm going to put the other eyelash on because it looks like it's dry enough now. Okay. I got the the other eyelash on. Ow! I keep poking myself in the eye. So now that I have swept off the powder, I'm gonna go in with blush. That's not blush. I'm using my blush palette <coughs> to go in with some blush. Yes, I like to blush my nose. I don't even know if I look right. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, do my under eyes. Since I have that powder off. I'm going to go back in with the palette, to the palette. And I'm just going to take this brown here and this brown here and smoke that underneath my eye. Like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so mascara underneath the eye. I mean, not underneath the eye, but on the bottom lash line. Now that I have that, 
I'm gonna spritz my face a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna spritz my face a little bit so that um, the powder can break down. That's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> oh my God, if I drop this thing one more time. Okay, so now it's time for highlight. I don't know what highlight I want to use. Um, I am going to use two different highlights. So the first one I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo. And this one is like my go-to for most days. So now that I have that one, I'm going to go in with the one from Profusion Cosmetics and I'm going to use this one. Now I'm going to put it under my eyebrow bone, on, on my eyebrow bone and in the tear duct. So for setting spray, now that I am all finished, you can honestly, I use my Mario Badescu setting spray, I mean, use it as a setting spray, a primer, uh, just whatever, a refresher. You can use this, honestly, you can, um, because it says whether spritz for hydrated boost or a midday pick-me-up, this cult favorite face mist helps revive dehydrated skin with the dewy glow anytime, anywhere. You can use this. Oh, you can use this on your hair. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So it says you can use it um, as a pick me up or a post makeup application to give skin a dewy finish. If product gets in the eye, just rinse it. But you can use this as a setting spray. Oops. Or you can use a regular setting spray. I'm just going to use my NYX matte finish. Um, setting spray. Now for, what is that? For my lip, I'm just going to keep it simple and do a lip gloss if I can find it. So this is actually my own lip gloss, as you can see. Oh wait. As you can see, it says Simply Luscious by Keelan on it. That I use, um, I use this lip gloss, or I make this lip gloss myself. So, um, if you guys want to shop my lip gloss after I show you how it looks, then I will link the, I will link it in the description down below. This one is called, Claude, this one is called Glitter AF. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how it looks. This is honestly a really silver one. It's a silver, um, silver glitter is what I'm trying to say. And it has mango scent. I made it just last night, to be honest. So yeah, if you guys want to know, or if you guys want to shop my website, go ahead and do so because it's lit. It's so smooth on the lips. I'm actually going to do, after this video, I'll do a whole updated, or I'll do a series on my lip gloss brand and everything, introducing it to you guys. So if you guys uh, are interested in that, stay tuned for the next video after this one. But yeah, this one's called, called Glitter AF, and this is how it looks. 
just some subtle glitter in there and it's so beautiful i love it i obviously make a tester one for me and i these are the ones i sell the ones with the uh, labels on them are for the customers my customers obviously but this one is for me but yeah um this is pretty much the end of this video if you guys like to give it a big old thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, share it to be a part of my subscriber fam. I would love to have you. We would love to have you. Without further ado, don't wait. And without further ado, always remember to stay classy and a little bit trashy. And I will see you guys in my next video.